Okay, so we talked a little bit about the top tier candidates, but what about the people on the stage who had everything to prove, the bottom six? How were their performances? We are back with Daily Caller reporter Henry Rogers and Democratic strategist Michael Starr Hopkins. All right, so you had a number of candidates on the stage who, this was kind of make or break. I mean, I would put Cory Booker definitely in that category. Yeah. At the end of the night, he actually made a plea. I yeah. need your help yeah, right. to make it to the next, like, <laughs> to the next stage. You, I mean, say, that's 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 you gotta do yeah. what you gotta do, yeah. you know? Uh, There's no yeah. pride in these things. Um, Amy Klobuchar, I put in the same category. I thought the moderators really tried to <laughs> try to help her yeah. get You're going totally there. totally not a Klobuchar fan. <laughs> they were, I mean, look, everybody knows how I think about these things. She got so, so much, much speech she did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And all her like little lame uh, one liners were at, anyway. Um, <laughs> I can't stand that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, yeah, but a lot of people were saying she was a winner last night. Of course they were. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I knew time. No, Giddy. I knew going into this mm -hmm. debate that the media was gonna try to help her out. Yeah, we're gonna declare course. her a winner. I mean, I just saw it lined up. They're looking for She's know, an alternative to Biden. To she Biden. gives yeah. she yeah. gives yeah. Democratic voters a new moderate to look at. Right. And I mean, they love her resume. Narrative. They love that like Midwestern resume. Minnesota nice. And she's yeah. a woman, <laughs> and she's a centrist, mm -hmm. and she makes super lame, terrible right. jokes. I mean, it's she just checks like, off the boxes. Terrible. Yeah, she checks she, up a lot of boxes. She kind of came off as like shaky to me last night. She was like, yeah. a little bit, kind of you know? nervous. Yeah, yeah. she ha she doesn't horrible, have a commanding though. presence. Look, no. she, she got a lot of airtime, but she's not gonna. She's not going. It's anywhere. not Sorry, media. And same with Cory Booker. I think. I mean, the real question is: is I mean, I think Gabbard and Yang both. We're really in a spot where they have, they mm -hmm. both had to make the December debates. Yeah. They need to continue drawing the same amount of money. I thought Yang, I mean, he did not get enough speaking time, really. I mean, he didn't really no. fight for it as well. And that was a problem for him. I mean, he only had, what, two or three real moments on the stage, Michael. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. for Gabbert and Yang both, we're kind of seeing the end of the campaign. Mm -hmm. They will, I mean, they're going to end up making debates just because they have a floor and they yeah. have a ceiling. Um, but they're not going to go anywhere. And yeah. I think what you're seeing now is voters really kind of push to call the field because it's so big mm -hmm. and so I think you're going to really see a push to just get these guys out. I don't think you see voters sure. looking to call the field. I think you see these moderators trying to call the field yeah, because true. I mean it really look Yang is not was not the mm -hmm. lowest polling candidate on that no, stage no. by far. No. He's got so many donors. He's got $10 million. He's up with an ad buy in Iowa. I mean, there's a lot that's very interesting about him. And to, again, I think he got six minutes. But Yang's not going to be the nominee. Of, I don't, no, like, but, he's so, but so many of these yeah, people but he are. Sure. He outraised right? Cory yeah. Booker. Yeah, exactly. why right? does, he outraised why does, Cory Booker he and Amy Klobuchar. Why does Amy Klobuchar why does he get, get taken seriously right? and he doesn't? Yeah. When I mean, he's, I think he's that's got more money and more enthusiasm. Yang didn't get a question until, I think, 30 minutes into the debate. That's crazy. And minute 30 for Tulsi Gabbard. I also thought it was bad. In defense yeah. of Amy Klobuchar, which is something I didn't yeah. think I'd be saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she is a sitting U.S. senator. Okay, but who cares? So was Yang. Kirsten Gillibrand. So was Steve Bullock. Yeah. Yeah. So was, yeah, you know, right. Eric Swall was a kind right. of, I mean, look. I mean, Yang is a Ron Paulish kind of person, someone who appeals to a very small part of the party. Hey, Ron and, Paul wants second in New Hampshire. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. and he will have a long political life, yeah. but he, no one actually thinks that he's going to be the nominee. But here's the thing. He no has an important these, role. But, yeah. but who, are these, who are these no ones? Right. See, I don't think she who are these no ones? Because I'll tell yeah. you, his supporters think that he has a shot yeah. and think he has something to say. Whereas well, Amy Klobuchar, mm -hmm. I mean, not I didn't come here to pick on Amy <laughs> Klobuchar, but I seem to be playing that yeah, role. Right? <laughs> I mean, no one wants her, right? right. The media has tried to, that she's surging at the right moment, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, her poll numbers should are going it, up. She's doubled her poll numbers. She's around like 5%. percent should it, five percent. shouldn't I mean, we pay attention to like what the voters are saying they find interesting and what this, this grassroots movement is fascinating. He's offering something different that's not the same like pablum bullshit as most All of these people. All they want yeah. is parody. Yeah. That's it, right? And I think that's fair. All we want is parity, which is if you're pulling around 4 or 5%, you guys should all get around the same speed. Same amount of time. And Cory Booker talked way too much for a guy mm -hmm. who has to beg for money on the stage when the Andrew Yang, the weirdo, you know, according to the media, <laughs> talking about UBI, has got $10 million. He just had a million dollars in ads. Cory yeah. Booker would be on his knees for a million dollars in cash. I, I think it all like, goes back to the moderators again. Yeah. Like they, they were, they set up these, these, these candidates, candidates up for failure. Um, and by not yeah, giving Yang questions, problem. by not giving Yang time, by not giving, a lot, by giving certain people to 
too much time. Right. Um, it was really a disaster yeah, for them. And then on the other hand, look, they let most of these candidates get Pete Buttigieg is now the new front runner. He doesn't get one tough question right. about the fact that he faked black endorsements. Yeah. I mean, if Bernie Sanders had done this, like, campaign over, Biden. forget or about Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah. Any, I mean, it's yeah. just, okay, put that yeah. aside. I did a whole thing on that already, so we're not going to go down that path. But, but the one person that they did want mm -hmm. to get attacked was apparently Tulsi Gabbard. We have a little bit of yes, Tulsi right. versus Pete. Let's take a listen. Does not qualify us to serve as commander in chief. I think the most recent example of your inexperience in national security and foreign policy came from your recent careless statement about how you as president be willing to send our troops to Mexico to fight the cartels. I know that it's par for the course in Washington to take remarks okay. out of context, but that is outlandish even by the standards of today's politics. Are, are you saying that you didn't say that? I was talking about U.S.-Mexico cooperation. We've been doing security cooperation with Mexico for years. This was after a, a, a dust-up yeah. with Kamala over, mm -hmm. I mean, they attack her always on the same thing, this yeah. meeting with yeah. Assad that she's been litigated for, you know, a million times over. Um, look, on the substance, Tulsi is right. Pete did say this stupid, bizarre thing about our troops in Mexico. That is true. I have to say, you know, I thought she looked strong. I think, frankly, it elevates her to face these attacks and weather these attacks with a certain constituency in the Democratic Party. But he counterpunched very well. He did. Um, I think Kamala went after a couple people last night, and yeah, I but think, not Pete. But but not Pete. Right. Uh, which 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 is kind of which is kind of crazy. It makes because, no sense. Because yeah, yeah no, uh, and and Pete. Yeah, like we just said, he had, he probably had the most speaking time. He he, he, had, he and he was, Warren he, he and Warren had the worshipped most speaking by time. the worshipped by the moderators essentially, right. um, and yet Kamala didn't come in there and jab him when she should have. I think and, she should have taken full advantage of and that. And Michael, it makes no sense. They're competing for the same voters. They got the same exactly. upper middle class white liberal voters in Iowa. And she said she was moving to Iowa. Well, part of that means <laughs> going after the guy who's leading in <laughs> Iowa, kicking your butt What's in Iowa right you? now. Sure, I, I, I mean, I, 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 can't I think that is a flashback to what yeah. happened when she went after Biden. Yeah, she took a hit. And so there is that apprehension to do it. I am surprised that more people didn't go after Pete. I think he's definitely yeah. vulnerable among Democrats. I think Gabbard's the wrong person to be that messenger and to go after other Democrats just because mm. Democrats expect her to be kind of the pit mm. bull, the one who's attacking It worked attacking when she went field. against Kamala, yeah, though. I did. mean, Kamala, yeah. it, in fact, I think ultimately I mean, I thought you're Kamala right. Kamala smacked her down last night. Last that, night, yeah. I thought Kamala was much, she yeah. obviously was much in better In round prepared. one, Gabbard in absolutely one, won. Yeah. Forget yeah. about but it. Round Gabbard, two. But yeah. Gabbard basically ended Kamala's campaign then. I mean, yeah. she hasn't recovered from that moment. The time when she was searching in the spring was after she went after Joe Biden. I mean, yeah. there may have been a backlash after the fact, yeah. but right after the debate, she went up, I looked it up the other day, she went up from 6 to 14 percent in the yeah. polls. I mean, that's some of the most significant movement we've seen out of any of these debates. you got to make some That's what I'm saying. The I, that's, time is getting short. That's why there needs something. to be fire. That's why yeah. you guys need to throw shots at each other and make right. sure, because this isn't like the big stage anymore. It's really, it's really getting you smaller. Know, and it's funny. And you I, have to throw shots if you want to make it I mean, for yourself. I went and I watched. So, you know, 2016 was such an anomaly election, mm -hmm. but 2012 is actually useful. Open Republican primary, yep. right? When there were 10 people on the stage, it was fire, man. Yeah. Newt Gingrich, Mitt Romney, <laughs> man, Rick, Rick. they savaged each other. Yeah. They're like, oh, Rick, you had a terrible record in yeah. Texas. And then Newt would lob a bomb from the side of the stage. Like only Newt can do. Like, like only Newt. He was like, you know, said something about the moon base. And like, it was awesome. <laughs> I was like, that's what people that's want. What like, that's yeah, what that's the what voters want. Yeah. Like, yeah. Romney yeah. came out of that ready to smack Obama in round one yeah. because he had done 20 debates. Was exactly. It was like. I, Michael, I think that there is a sense on the Democratic side, mm -hmm. like our, our brains are wired a little, there's this sense of like, oh, but we should all be nice to each other, yeah. when it's not actually what voters, the voters no. will tell you that's what they want. It's not what they it's want. No. They want to see who's going to be able to fight with Trump. Exactly. Steel, steel definitely sharpens steel, and I think yeah. Democrats say that we want a really yeah. nice primary, but you're right, we want someone who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trump, which I think is going to be really important. But we say that, but what do we share on Twitter? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the nastiest yeah. things yeah. ever. Yeah. Like, what, what I will say about these debates, so is yeah. I don't think they really matter at this point. Yeah. Everyone kind of has bought into what they think is going to happen in the debates. And if you look, there's movements kind of the day after, 48 hours after, and then yeah. the numbers level yeah. back. Yeah. Right back. It's a yeah. quick snapshot, yeah. and then you know we go back to impeachment hearings, That's back to I mean. the president saying people have a lot sense. to lose in these debates, yeah. but not the, a lot. To but gain. the candidates in the twos and the three, in the second and the third, fourth place, they have some to gain, and they need to risk it because at this yeah. point, yeah. it's getting close and to that's, Iowa. And that's why exactly. I said, as much as I hate to admit it, yeah. and as much as I don't think he like did a good job 
monologue yeah. last night talking about punching domestic violence or whatever yeah. he said. He just can't help himself. Look, yeah. status quo mm -hmm. benefits Joe Biden. Yeah. That's where we are. But his ground game, Crazy. we'll see what his ground we'll game is. We'll, like. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right. They did send out that fundraising yeah. email yeah. for the yeah. post debate yeah. at 3 p.m. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, God, guys, come on. Right. Great Thank to see you guys. guys. Thank so you. <laughs> Tomorrow on Rising, Professor Ho Feng Hung, he's author of The China Boom Why China Will Not Rule the World. He joins us to talk about tariffs and Hong Kong unrest. And our old friend Joe Concha is going to take a look at network impeachment coverage and the ratings. Bill Bullard, former rancher and CEO of RCAF USA, is also going to be here to talk about country of origin labeling for me. It's actually a very interesting conversation. You'll want to be here for that. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow.